Today, I will be exploring how cannabis has an effect on our cognitive functioning and can be a direct catalyst for depression and anxiety. Understanding the influence that cannabis has on our cognitive abilities should be a topic that resonates with all of us. Our cognitive abilities underpin our careers, our relationships, as well as our daily lives. Moreover, in an era where legalization has become more of a pressing concern, this conversation is more relevant than ever. THC, or known as tetrahydrocannabinol, is the active ingredient in cannabis that causes you to feel a sudden change in your mood or demeanor. And although for some it may be a desirable feeling, for those who have been predisposed in their lives to depression and anxiety, this drug can induce a more exasperated exasperated mental health condition for the individual. Studies show a link between mental health concerns and marijuana use since the 1960s. And although while earlier studies show a more straightforward connection between the two, subsequent research done in the earlier 20th century highlights various factors such as usage, dosage, pre-existing mental health concerns, as well as frequency of use. There are several ways that marijuana use can negatively affect those who have been predisposed to mental health concerns in their past. One way is how marijuana use can cause individuals to feel a heightened level of anxiety and an increased feelings of an unease. These can lead to panic attacks as well as exasperated depressive symptoms that can make it hard for the individual to engage in healthy coping strategies. With that being said, marijuana use can also lead to a cycle of dependency where the substance itself turns into a coping mechanism for the individual, hindering the ability to address the root causes of their issues. Combating marijuana use to induce depression and anxiety requires some varied approaches. Firstly, it's very important to be mindful of moderation such as dosage and how much you're intaking and how frequently you are intaking cannabis. A second option, a second option could be to seek counseling or therapy to gain valuable tools for managing any underlying issues that may be present. And lastly, some useful te- techniques can be stress reduction techniques such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, and so on and so forth. In conclusion, while some may find relief in using cannabis, it's important to recognize marijuana's effect on our lives and our minds, and to stay aware of its consequences, staying informed, or to stay aware of its consequences. And staying informed helps open up the conversations on substance abuse, as well as mental health and allows us to better be equipped to support those around us.